We've all received emails that were clearly not displaying properly in the email program we were using to read them. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool to avoid that happening for your Joomla emails. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 247 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term or even just sketch out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersault.com and let's talk. Okay, before we look at this tool, a big shout out to my friend Alexandra Elise. He uh, shared this with me, and so thank you, Alexandra. Let's check it out. All right, the site we're looking at here is Can I Email? And it is a tool that will basically tell you what HTML, CSS, and some other features that you can put in your emails so that they are read as they're intended to appear and be read on as many devices as possible. So can I email.com? I'm gonna hit F11 here. We'll go to a full screen. And the first thing we'll see is you can start to filter for different things that you want to see if it will work on different email programs. So I've got a few here first to check. So let's look at background color, that CSS. And you'll see over here that 90% of email programs support that. And we can actually go here and we can scroll to the right and we will see that, oh, oh, look at this. Orange, is that a browser? I guess orange browser or uh, anyways, it has a yellow here. And if we mouse over the one, it says buggy only supports color keywords from CSS level one. So you want to keep that in mind when you're designing your email. Why don't we check another one here? Let's check out text align text a line all right and we'll see here oh look at that only 60% green 40% now as we look with we'll see gmail and on ios from 2021 september we mouse over and it says partial flow relative values start and end are not supported with a non gmail account and we can scroll and see okay so if you're going to use text align there's a few things that you are not going to be able to use the flow relative value start and end that we see down here a bunch of those all right let's check a third here so let's check out image go img and we'll see now there are two results found the first one is the loading attribute on image you see it is not really supported by a lot of things but once again you can check out which versions and you can see the notes down here we scroll down farther and we see AVIF image format. Oh, we can see where that image format is supported and information based again on these different browsers. Okay, and email programs. All right, but there's more. Let's go up here and check out features. Here's a list where you can just jump to all of the different HTML tags and uh, CSS code. So for instance, under HTML, let's go down to mail to links. And we'll see, yeah, that's doing pretty good here, but there are some, let's see, for instance, Yahoo Mail gets a note three here. It says partial BCC, so the blind carbon copy is not supported. So you don't want to use BCC if you think people for, with the Yahoo Mail are going to be reading it. Let's go back up to our list of things and features. Let's go down to a CSS and let's just look at this first one, accent color. Accent colors only support it by 12.9%. Not in Outlook, not in Yahoo Mail. And so you probably want to avoid that in your email. Let's go back to features. Let's look at one more here. Image formats. Down, scroll way down. Image formats. You want to put a, a WebP image inside of your email? Check this out. All right, it'll work in Gmail, but there's some notes here does not support animation all right note that and one converts the oh partial it converts the file to jpeg all right good to know maybe you don't want to use webp in there because there's a few things here that it doesn't work on although pretty current here just not the windows versions up to 2019 on outlook anyways last thing for us to check out here is to compare the email clients we'll go to the top right here 
Now, if we want, you can just compare apples to oranges, or in this case, apple to Gmail, and you can see what they both all support and where there's mixed support, and you can follow the cart down here. Lots of information. You can actually select all, and then you end up like with you know, just tons of information. And the awkward thing is down here, it's super wide, so maybe you don't want to do all. But if we uncheck all of these, we can still go down here and see individually. So for instance, let's check out Apple Mail. Here's what works. Here's what doesn't work. Here's what's partially supported. And you can just rinse, lather, and repeat going through all those things. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.